everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 16. Today we begin a round of draft champions. We're gonna be doing head-to-head. -head. If you win four games, you win the championship. So I figure that shouldn't take more than a couple episodes. So while we wait for the patch to come out to start our franchise, I thought we'd do some of these, which this ties into Ultimate Team. So we're gonna kinda do the two together while we pass the time before that darn patch comes out. So starting this one off, round one, we gotta pick a coach. I'm gonna go with John Fox here, the short pass and man defense. And then moving on to round one, already a big decision to make. Aaron Rodgers, JJ Watt, or Luke Kuchli. And this one, I'm gonna end up going with Watt on defense. I wanna get a solid defense going since we are going to be playing against the user. A little bit different than playing against the CPU. So I'm gonna go defense early and figure we can get a QB later. On to the second round, I'm gonna go end up going with Casey Hayward here since he fits the defense and we need a first corner. And then round five now, we've skipped ahead. We got Brian De La Puente as our center in round four. Round five, we're gonna go with Doug Baldwin as we pick up our first wide receiver. Now round six, Junior Gillette, Mike Evans, Muhammad Wilkerson. This one is a tough choice, but I'm gonna end up going with Mike Evans so we have that second big guy there. So I figure we stack the defense and then get some solid wide receivers that we have the passing game working since it's kind of hard to run the ball here in this mode. Next round, we're gonna go with the right tackle, Doug Free, to get the line started up here. Next up, round eight, TJ Lang, Arian Foster, DeAndre Levy. I'm going to end up going with Lang just so we can continue to solidify that line, especially since we spent a few picks on the defense. But round nine, we're going back to Pernell McPhee, the linebacker. We took Seal Moore the round before that. Now round 10, we have Glover Quinn, Landry, or Dan Williams. And at this point, we need a free safety and a strong safety. Landry fits our scheme better, so we're gonna take him the strong safety there with that one. Now round 11, we have Tashawn Gibson, Leon Hall, Clay Matthews. We need that second corner. Leon Hall, a speedier corner, fits our scheme, so we're gonna take him. Now round 13, we have Marshall Yanda, Julio Jones, and Matt Forte. At this point, we have not grabbed a halfback, so the easy pick here is gonna be Matt Forte. We'll take him in round 13. And we still do not have a quarterback, so I'm really hoping, as you see here, no QB, I'm hoping a quarterback comes up in the legendary run, otherwise we are screwed. We take Lawrence Timmons there, the middle linebacker, and a big sigh of relief as Randall Cunningham pops up here. What a perfect QB to throw into this offense. So, of course, we're gonna grab him there. And now we'll take a look at the team. 81 overall, 81 offense, 80 defense. So a pretty even team, but you see there, plus 89 for our scheme fit on defense. So our defense should be very solid. So as I said before, you win four games and you win the championship. So we're gonna begin here. First game, our opponent has Brian Finneran, Justin Houston, and Peyton Manning. I know from experience, I did a test one with Brian Finneran and he does not catch the ball very well. So hopefully that happens with this guy. Now the one problem with this game, my opponent had a headset in and I don't know if he was sitting next to a fan or something, but it was the most annoying sound the entire game. He did talk a few times, but oh my gosh, it was annoying. So that's why the volume is very low and why you might not hear the game. But here, Matt Forte, we are having a successful first drive. Randall Cunningham, three for three, 73 yards. And we'll try to cap the drive off here. Cunningham, second and goal looking, and he's gonna find the easy touchdown as that is gonna put us up seven to nothing. We now move ahead to the opponent's first drive, third and 10, and here he will connect. And we have a very poor attempt at tackling there. I don't know what I was doing with that guy on that end. But Peyton Manning is his quarterback, so of course he has a very good quarterback, second and 10 here. He's going deep, and that one is gonna fall incomplete. And as I've said before, the wide receiver cornerback play in this year's game is so good. So happy that they put work into that, and that has improved a great deal. It's gonna be exciting to have those battles. But you see our third and 10, he has thrown that one away. So fourth down, of course, in this mode, everybody goes for it on fourth down in here. He's gonna put it up, and that is going to be CJ Spiller out at wide receiver who catches that one, and he's in for the touchdown. That was just ridiculous. The speed just goes by our corner. So it's now 7-7, first and five here after we cause a false start penalty to end the first quarter. That one's gonna get thrown out there and brought down as there. Again, you see even the new animations and stuff they've added that is so nice. Now second and 13, we're gonna go across the middle to Lance Moore. He's gonna catch that one down to the 20. So Rail Cunningham, seven for seven. We are working it here on offense. Third and goal now, under a minute to go in the first half, and that is gonna be another easy touchdown. So we take the lead 14 to seven, 32 seconds to go in the first half. First play of the next drive, Peyton Manning back and Peyton Manning going deep. 
And look who that is, C.J. Spiller, as he catches another one behind our defense. You see, he's just three of eight for this, very inefficient. But third and two now, and this one gonna be intercepted. Dwight Lowry with the pick, and he's going the other direction. Takes it back to the 17. What a huge turnover for us there at the end of the first half. So it remains a 14-7 game. We open the second half. And here he gets a little lucky, and I hit the button at the wrong time as his receiver will take this all the way down to the 20. Our defenders got a little bit bunched up there, and his tight end, I think that was, was able to separate and get that catch and the long first down. So now second and seven. And here Fenner apparently doing it for him as he just plows through the defender there into the end zone. So that's going to tie the game 14-14. Two minutes to go in the third quarter, and Randall Cunningham going back to work using his legs. Shakes up a sack, but I cannot throw it away in time and I will get sacked by Justin Houston. So third and 24, and here we're going for the cheeky little wheel route, and it's gonna work as we throw it up. Wide open there is Avant, and now this is gonna bring up fourth down. I'm gonna go for it here because I have not been able to stop his offense. There's a little over a minute left, and the quarter's only four, so I'm gonna go for it, try to continue this drive, take the chance, and it does pay off as Croft gets the first down, so this drive will continue. Cunningham 190 yards passing now. Under 18 seconds to go, last play of the third quarter. Matt Forte with the halfback screen. It catches him totally off guard. Forte, get on your horse, man, as he will get caught down at the nine. But we are in business here as just over three minutes to go in the game. Cunningham, an easy slant route to Avant, and we will take the lead 21-14. And as you've seen in this game, I have not been able to run the ball at all. I think this guy only tried to run it two times, maybe. I did try to run, but the defense, very strong in this mode, apparently. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a defensive plays they call, but I think I ended up with negative yards rushing. But here, third and nine, a huge sack could have come there. We bring the blitz, and it's perfectly timed as it's now four, fourth, excuse me, in 17, 225 to go in the game. This is a huge play for him if we can get this stop. I think we can lock up the victory. Manning will throw. He's going to go deep. We're going to have the opportunity. Hayward hits the receiver. He cannot bring in the catch. So we have the ball back now. Third and six. We're looking to get the touchdown to seal this game. And Cunningham will throw. Looks like a receiver got held up. Offensive, or excuse me, deep in the pass interference, but it's not going to be called. So we kick the field goal. It's now a 10-point game. Second and 10. A minute 36 to go. We hit him. Incomplete. Six for 17, Peyton Manning. This guy was not that great. And here it is, the quit, disconnect your, here it is. Yes, your peer has conceded the game. So I wish you would have done that earlier because you were very annoying with your stupid microphone. But we get the win and three more wins is all we need for that championship. That will be the end of this one though. I will bring you the second half to this and I have not played the rest of the games as of recording this. So it could be one more game. It could be three more games in a championship, we will see. But at the end, we do get a reward in the form of an ultimate team pack. So we will go through that, open that, and see what we get as a reward. But we will bring this Madden Draft Champions to a close in the next episode. So if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.